actually had the, the highest value of, uh, of polonium that was at the end of our measurement unsupported polonium in large quantity. What we have here also is actually the hat he was wearing when he left uh, Ramallah. Uh, it was in a much better state when we received it, but we took several samples at different locations and uh, the conclusion was that we, we, we did find some, uh, some significant polonium that was present in this sample. Well, all those samples were, um, were belongings from Mr. Arafat that were containing visible biological stains. I mean, they have been used and we, we knew that he was wearing this, uh, this clothing at the hospital. So we, we, we did measurements on these particular stains. These levels were substantial. They were significantly different, which shows that there, there is an abnormal, not normal quantity of polonium. But you found unsupported polonium in these specific items? Yes, we did. We did find some uh, uns not supported uh, polonium in these in these samples. Yes. Significant levels of unsupported polonium made in a laboratory, exactly the variety that killed Litvinenko. We asked Professor Boshud that if Arafat had been given the same dosage as Litvinenko, what levels of polonium they could expect to find in his samples after eight years. It's a simple equation because polonium decays by half every 138 days. Yes, if we take the scenario of Mr. Litvinenko, one gigabecrel at the beginning would, would uh, come to uh, about 10 uh, millibecrel. And uh, what was astonishing in our case was that we, we found values in the, in the samples of Mr. Arafat that were in the same order of magnitude. We were surprised, yes. One of my colleagues, he called me on the phone and told me, uh, well, I think you, you got to go up in the lab and we have something to show you. The, the first measurement we did was actually just a routine measurement, just to, just to make a check. And we thought there, there is definitely no chance to find any polonium in these samples. So who would have access to this kind of polonium, unsupported polonium? If you want to have access to this kind of uh, highly strategic uh, element, you need to have a good connection with, uh, with people who are maybe interested in or building uh, nuclear, nuclear weapons, for instance. Every country that has a nuclear reactor, even, even a civil nuclear reactor, you, you can produce uh, polonium uh, to 10. It's, uh, it, is, it is possible. What makes polonium a sophisticated choice of poison is the fact that with so few known cases, doctors are still uncertain about its specific symptoms. If uh, we put together all the information that we have, analytical findings, clinical features, circumstance of, uh, uh, of, the, of the death of, uh, of Mr. Rafat, um, it's difficult to conclude. Um, I don't want to, to make too much speculation, but I think that we have at this stage where uh, would be, of course, uh, uh, mandatory to go further and, uh, and to try to uh, uh, make more uh, investigation if it's possible. The answer may lie beneath Arafat's mausoleum in Ramallah, currently being renovated. I would say that if I take a bone randomly in a cemetery, the probability of measuring polonium would be almost zero. In, in this case, if I had to give a probability, I would, I would say right now with the measurements we did, it could be maybe above 50% or something like this. So it's definitely not 99%, but it's uh, above 50%. And I think the, the only way now, if she really wants to know what's hap what happened to, to her husband, is to manage to find a, a sample that, I mean, an exhumation from from Mr. Arafat that would provide us with a sample that should have a very high quantity of polonium if, if, we're, if he were poisoned. But we have, we have to do it quite fast because polonium is decaying. So if we wait too long, for sure, any possible proof will disappear. For the first time, Ms. Arafat sees the results. Sua? Ms. Arafat? What do you want to do next? 
I think that I want to ask to exhume the body of my husband immediately because the doctor say that we, we don't have enough time you know longer we, we don't do it the longer that the proofs of any polonium substance uh, will disappear I think this is my responsibility as a mother as a wife and as a partner of this great man for 20 years and uh, this is uh, my message to the Palestinian Authority that they have to cooperate because the brave and the tomb of Yasser is in Ramallah. After all what we have discovered with the most credible doctors in the whole world, we have to go further step to exhume Yasser Arafat body to reveal the truth to all the Arab and the Muslim world.